Buckingham Palace. This call is being recorded and may be used for training purposes. If you have been asked to call this number urgently, it's because of a hoax message and you should hang up immediately. If, however, you have a valid reason to call the Royal Household, please hold for an operator. Uh, good afternoon. Is that Mrs. Bonici? Speaking. Yes, hello. My name's uh, Brian Gerrish. I'm um, calling um, to ask, if I may, a couple of questions about a letter which has been posted on a website with respect to an affidavit um, which has been submitted to the Queen. Right. Are you aware of that affidavit? No, not at all. I, I, I have no idea. I, I mean, I just deal with um, correspondence that comes in. And I reply if, if I'm instructed to do so. Um, your name is Brian? Gerish. G-A-R-I-S-H. No. G-E-R-R. Can you spell again, please? G-E. G-E. Double R. Double R. I-S-H. I-S-H. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, I've got a letter in front of me dated May 2008 in which you actually reply to the affidavit which Mr. John Harris sent in. And you say that you have forwarded um, his correspondence to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office because it relates to the European Union. Right. But the only thing is his correspondence didn't relate to the European Union. Right. Can, I, can you give me his name again? Sorry, I'll look, I'll look him up. Okay, it's John Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S. John Harris. Oh, there's lots of John but Mr. Harris submitted um, two signed affidavits to the Queen, which uh, went recorded. Well, in fact, he tried to hand them in personally, but they were certainly recorded delivery in the end. And you've obviously received them because you've replied to his letters. Would it help if I read your letter? It's very short. Yes, please. Um, I am to thank you for your recent letter addressed to the Queen on the subject of the European Union. Careful note has been taken of your comments. However, as Her Majesty receives many such letters, it is not possible to send an individual reply to every one. Policy on... Pardon? I see. This was a form letter we sent. So it isn't Dear Mr. Harris or anything on the front, is it? On the top, it's just a third-party re reply. Yeah, but it's your signature. Yes, yes, I, I, yes. You're but right. What, what is of interest is that Mr. Avida Mr. Harris sent an affidavit which didn't mention the European Union. That's he... very strange. I don't always see these letters because I sign... Um, when, when The problem is, I'll start from the beginning. The problem is we have about 2,000 letters in a backlog. And we have a, uh, I have a team of, of uh, ladies who helps me, uh, a very small team, uh, but they help me write, um, reply to people. And if it's about the European Union or if it's about a certain thing, and we know that... Um, the European Union letters would go to the Foreign Office, for example, and they read the letter that once it comes back. And um, what may have happened, if it's nothing to do with the European Union, it might be that it got mixed up with the European Union stuff and sent on by mistake. That's the only thing I can think of. But how, uh, excuse me, how would a signed letter from yourself, it's your signature at the bottom, how... Sign a, a batch of letters because it's a, it's a third-party reply, and I give it to my ladies to, um, to send off right. on my behalf. So if it's for the European Union, they will have a letter saying, because it doesn't actually, does it actually say Foreign Office on there. Yeah, the, your letter says that it's been forwarded through to the Foreign Office. Ah, because... But this, this gentleman has sent two affidavits, yes. two signed affidavits. And the only reply he's got is a letter from yourself, which you're now telling me you, you didn't really send. I may not have seen. That's the only problem. Can you tell me the, the date I, uh, I replied? To, is there a date on there? Is it just got May? It just says May. May. But this, this is incredible. Uh, with due respect, this is absolutely amazing right. that somebody right. has sent an affidavit and effectively you're telling me that it hasn't been received or processed. It has been received, and it was, it was uh, probably received in this office, opened, sent to the Queen, returned to us with, with uh, instructions, but somehow it's got mixed up. That's what I'm trying to say, because I, I didn't see this letter. So I think but, it but got mixed up. Mrs. Bonucci, w with great respect, I cannot believe that you're prepared to send out letters with your signature on, referring to other letters which you haven't seen. 
because we, I only put my signature to it so that somebody has a, a point of reference so you can come back to me. That's the point. Otherwise, a third-party reply has always gone out without any signature at all. And I'd rather somebody came... So how can you possibly say in the first paragraph of your letter, careful note has been taken... Well, it would have done because it would have gone to the Queen. And careful note, not by us, careful note, but the Queen would have taken careful note. Well, if I'm a bit concerned now because I'm just trying to think where the letter would have gone to. So if it's the Foreign Office, perhaps... Um, would you mind sending me a copy of, of what you have? And do you have a copy of, the, of his letter, Mr. Harris's letter? What, uh, can, you, can you answer something else, actually? Why are you speaking on behalf of Mr. Harris? Well, it's very easy because the letters to which I refer are clearly available to the general public because they're on a website. All right, okay. So you're not in contact with Mr. Harris? Well, I am, but I've, I'm making a totally independent phone call because I, I, I read through the material on the website and I was so fascinated I decided to ask for myself. Right. But a man has submitted an affidavit to the Queen on an incredibly serious matter, which is the misgovernance of this country. They so shouldn't have uh, gone to the Foreign Office in the first place. Absolutely. But he's also submitted a letter to you back to you on the 13th of May. So you must have personal correspondence from Mr. Harris there. I haven't at the moment. I haven't seen uh, anything from Mr. Harris at the moment, but that doesn't mean... But it, it went by recorded delivery. Yes, it would, have, it would either be um, uh, with the Queen still and hasn't come back to us, because it can take a couple of weeks. But I, was, I shall look for it. If he's written, then I shall have a look. Can I have... Yeah. Um, well, can, I, can I do something which may probably make your life easier? Uh, have you got access to the web there? I have. Uh, if you were to log on and go to uh, the following website address, it's very simple. It's www.tpuc. Yes. Keep Tommy P. P for Peter U C. That's correct. Dot org. Right. And you can see an exact copy of the two affidavits that Mr. Harris has sent. And you will also, at the top of a page, see your letters referred to, and you can click on it and it will show you a copy of the letter. Right. So, so I'm afraid to say you're in the public domain, which is why I feel... Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. That's why, uh, why I, I feel entitled to respond. Fine. Yes, no, you did right. Thank you very much for that. What I want to do now is take a copy of this, and... Um, And what I'll do is I'm going to look for Mr. Harris's letter. If he says he's written on the 13th, then I will find out. Can, can I ask a, well, I'll call it a point of protocol. Sure. If, if the Queen receives letters about the European Union, yes. do they all just get forwarded to the Foreign and Commonwealth Depends, Office? Well, not at all. Depends what, what is said, but if it, it is a Foreign and Commonwealth matter. Rather, the Queen can't intervene. If she's, she's a constitutional sovereign. She won't intervene in, in, in these matters, and she leaves things to her ministers, which is why the minister's concerned at the moment for the, for the European Union is the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Well, are, are you aware that members of the public have been reporting treason to police stations? Um, I've, I have heard that uh, people say this in, in letters, absolutely, yes. Well, I, it's, it's happened in fact because I, I'm one of them. I've actually taken documents to a local police station to report treason as committed by the Heath government and perpetrated by successive governments. Sure, sure. And these are very serious issues. Sure. And I find it extraordinary that somebody has sent these affidavits into Buckingham Palace. I don't understand why that didn't come to me directly, actually. I'm, I'm quite perplexed now. The computer's very slow. I'm trying to print. Ah, here we go. I'm going to print out his letter, and I'm going to find out where his uh, 13th of... You say he's written on the 13th of May. I will find that letter and make sure it's on my desk, and I shall reply to Mr. Harris myself. But I don't understand why it got mixed up and sent off if it has nothing to do with the European Union. Well, men, many of us would say that it's quite extraordinary, but a lot...